Welcome to uh, day three and the last day of the 2014 Club 420 Midwinters. Uh, we're excited to have another beautiful day here in Florida and a big thank you to the U.S. Sailing Center of Martin County for hosting the uh, 2014 Midwinters. This is the 16th Midwinters here at this venue and we just love it. I mean, if you look out, spectacular breeze, fantastic uh, weather. It's real retreat, uh, especially from those of you suffering in the Northeast uh, with all the, wind, all the snow and, and cold air. Um, it's just beautiful down here. Speaking of that, you know, it's, we've had some incredible stories here of, of people traveling with all the weather delays and everything else that everybody had trying to get down here and all throughout the country, uh, trying to get to their destinations this holiday weekend. But it's been amazing that everybody's made it down to this event. We only had two or three cancellations for this event after all the weather issues that we've had in the northeast and, and in the south here. So it's incredible to have these everybody here. Uh, we had a story of one family that their flight got canceled from Chicago, so they hopped in their car and drove 19 straight hours down here and got their kids here in time for uh, for the regala. So, you know, that's mother and father of the year right there for, for that. And we have another story of an Annapolis family doing the same thing. Flights was canceled, so they hopped in the car and drove down and, and had an incredible, was rewarded to some incredible conditions and uh, a beautiful weekend of sailing, that's for sure. Well, here on our last day, it's probably the most exciting day, not only because it's the last day, but because scores are really tight. So we're kind of reviewing and where we are here on day three at the beginning, and the sailors just left the beach now, so they're getting ready for their first race. Uh, but tied for first, we have a tie for first. We have Wiley Rogers and Ian Robinson, um, and we have Nick Floyd and Lilis Alveson, both with 25 points going into this last day. So a big tie for first. And third, right behind them, is Campbell Deskew and Trevor Hecht with 30 points. Tied with them is Lucy Wilmot and Mary Claire Kiernan. Our top women's team is also with 30 points. So we have a tie for third and a tie for first in this event. Uh, in fifth place, Cassie O'Bell and Christopher Killian, Christoph. Um, these guys were a team to beat that we kind of looked at yesterday that we thought they were going to be the ones that moved up. They did move up, um, only one spot, but they're certainly in the hunt point-wise. Um, Cassie and Christoph only have 34 points. Uh, they're tied with Christopher Swanson and Alex Ron uh, with 34 points as well. And in seventh, just a few points back, Roman Screve and Andrew Pearson with 43 points. So really tight event all the way through those top seven. And it's, it's incredible. You know, the, the racing's coming down to today. It's going to come down to these races today for sure for the, for the championship. And for really the top five to, to pan out, it's going to come down to probably the last race. Right now, talking to our PRO, we've got three to four races on tap, depending on, on the timing of the racing right now. We had Breeze right away when we got here this morning, so they'll get racing off on time. That's what we're expecting today. Going back to yesterday, talking about a few big movers. We've got defending champion Scott Sinks uh, with sailing with McCarver, um, Rebecca McLevin. Uh, they went moved up from 33rd to 8th yesterday, so big moving day for them. Uh, Jack Parkin and Forrest Thomas were really deep as well. They moved all the way up to 11th. Certainly having the drop race figured in after the, the sixth race certainly helped those teams and others uh, move up, but it showed some great consistency yesterday and some tough conditions. Right? So we're really excited about this event and today and what it's really come down to. You know, On the line today is not only for the championship, but for the spots for the uh, 2014 youth uh, qualifier for youth champs and trying to qualify for that. So we're really excited about this event being part of that, and hopefully it will be again next year as well. Some other things to think about with the Club 420 class, we've just announced that at this event our Triple Crown for 2014. So take a look at club420.org and see the Triple Crown. Also look for this video and other videos on our YouTube page, on our YouTube channel. So take a look at that for the Club 420 Association YouTube channel. Uh, we have lots of interviews from this event. We also have our brand new capsize uh, recover video that's put up and was produced by Steve Keen. That's up there really nicely done, and, and it'll be great for, for all your youth programs to take a look at that. All right, well, we're out here for an exciting day. We'll have some live updates from the water as well. Please check out our Facebook page, YouTube, and Twitter for all our latest updates for scores throughout the day and for videos at the end of the regatta. All right, we'll see you on the water.